All right, I was recently found this article here, and uh, just again proving what I've been saying about Steven Anderson, that the, that the mainstream media is creating him into Westboro, the next Westboro, the next uh, Fred Phelps, and they're going to use Anderson to demonize us Bible-believing Christians. Uh, Steven Anderson is a very hateful person. Um, he has no real love for his enemies. Uh, you know, people will say, oh, he loves his enemies because he's trying to pr preach the gospel to them, trying to convert them. Yeah, just like the Catholics do. You know, the Catholics will love you as long as you're willing to convert. And if not, well, then you're a heretic and you should be burned at the stake, kind of a deal. But um, this article here shows a very, very serious slant, a very seriously evil slant from secular media. All right, that's what this thing is. Phoenix here, uh, phoenixmag.com, obviously down in Arizona. But uh, if you want to zoom in here, West of Westboro, written by Jimmy Magahern, June 2015. Now, this thing here is ridiculous, absurd propaganda is what it is. Down here it says, some of the valley's most ardent, fed-fearing, LGBT demonizing Christians or citizens, excuse me, find a mouthpiece in a headline-grabbing East Valley preacher. Could Stephen Anderson just be getting started? Okay. Now, that's very, very true. Anderson is a headline-grabbing guy. Anytime he can get his, his face on mainstream media, he you know, his, his claim to fame was getting beat up by the Border Patrol. It's absolutely ridiculous. And, and you can go to, the, to this thing here. You can read the whole article. But uh, I found this picture to be rather interesting because I think that's, you know, if you look at the eyes, the Bible says the light of the body is in the eyes. He looks like he's devil-possessed. And he is devil-possessed, too. He's not a saved man. He believes, it, and believes and teaches that Jesus burned in hell. Okay, uh, that's, that's not the Holy Spirit saying that. But um, down here, just to show you the, the kind of ridiculous propaganda. Okay, right here, if you can zoom in on this. Anderson is on Team King James. The license plate on his Hyundai reads KJV only, and he's emerging as, look at this, the King James only's movement's most prolific and most divisive voice. And it goes down through there. But, um, you know, it's, it's absolutely absurd to call this guy, you know, King James move, only movement's most prolific, most divisive voice. Uh, Anderson hasn't done anything for the Bible-believing movement. Okay, His little video that he came out with and everything else was all borrowed research from other people. You know, He hasn't done any research on his own. Let me just show you this. You say, what have you done? Right there. I did this thing years ago. Over 20,000 scripture references looked up between the King James Bible, the NIV, and the TNIV. And, you know, this thing has all the scripture references. I mean, this thing took me, it was about a year it took me to do this work. Uh, a very, very massive collation. I went through, I mean, this is not some kind of a computer generated thing that I went and I got the results. It was all paper based, you know, uh, King James Bible, NIV, TNIV, Strong's Concordance, just going through looking at words, word, looking them all up. I mean, it, I'd spend hours and hours and hours a day doing this work. So I have, you know, put in some time of my own doing some research, okay? And I have, you know, yes, some of my facts and things in some of my documentary films were borrowed from other people's research, of course. But the fact of the matter is I don't consider myself a scribe, or a, not a scribe, but a scholar or anything. You know, some people call me a scholar or whatever in this issue. But the fact is, I do have at least a claim that I can say I've helped with some of the research that's out there. And this is available, by the way, for free. You can download it on my website, kingjamesvideoministries.com, the free download section. It's all available right there. I don't sell it anymore in this ring-bound volume because, ironically, after I brought this information out, uh, the NIV people all of a sudden came out and said that they're going to scrap the old NIV and the TNIV, you know, and came out with their new 2011 NIV. Uh, kind of weird coincidence there. But, you know, if you want to look at King James Only Movement's most prolific speakers or prolific voices, pick people like Sam Gipp or Doug Stauffer or David Daniels, you know. Uh, who else? I, I can't. Ruckman. Well, yeah, Ruckman, you know, 20th century, you know, uh, Gail Ripplinger, um, a lot of guys from the Dean Bergen Society, um, 
you know, I mean, there's there's Jack Mormon. I was trying to think of who Dean Bergen is like. Uh, Dr. Jack Mormon. I mean, a lot of these guys, you know, they're the ones that are putting the research in. They're the ones that are that are doing the great work of the Lord in this whole issue. And you get Stephen Anderson coming along, and these these guys are oh, he's 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 the most prolific voice. But you see what they're trying to do? They are trying to demonize all of us and try to make the general public think that this little devil right here represents us. He doesn't. Uh, King James only Bible believers, all right, uh, we don't hate people that are sodomites. We hate the sin that they're part of, and we see their sin, and, we, and, and, it, and it breaks our hearts, and we say, you know what? That sin is an abomination in God's sight. Why? Because it's sterilization. It's genocide. You know, it's kind of ironic because this whole, oh, what about the gay marriage, national gay marriage, and everything else? Uh, well, the problem's actually going to correct itself in a couple generations. Why? Because they're not, they can't breed you know, they're going to die out. The LGBT people, they can't have children. So a couple generations down the road, they're gone. That's the plan. That's part of the plan. Depopulation. So Bible believers, we don't hate people that are involved in sodomy. We don't hate Roman Catholics. Again, we hate the system that they're part of. We're not hateful people like Stephen Anderson. But see, he is going to foment violence. He's, he's continually calling for the president to die and, and shrivel up like a, a snail or something like this. And in my spook training, we actually called that terrorism whenever a person tried to attempt to assassinate the president and talk about it openly, like that goon right there on your screen. Mm -hmm. We called it terrorism back in my spooks, my spook school training days. Yeah. And now they've redefined the word terrorism to involve Bible-believing Christians who are not Catholics. Yeah, yeah. He, this guy here, right here, is uh, what do you call it? It's it's uh, not counterintelligence, counter. Coadjutor. Co well, coadjutor. But there's you know it's he's basically he's he is the enemy, and he's being raised up. He's being trained to make himself look like a Bible believing Christian he's a mole. and and to make yeah, you know, uh, inside covert operations just like the Westboro Baptist system, which ironically a secular magazine's comparing the two. And they're trying to make people think that all us Bible believers should be put into prison and things where all hate crime, criminals and stuff and we should pass hate crime laws and stuff. That's what Steven Anderson is doing. And he's coming out with all this stuff, hating the Jewish people now, so that he can be lined up with the Nazi movement. So now we're also white supremacists, you know, and all this stuff. I mean, it, it's, it's insanity what this guy is doing. But again, further proof of what I've been saying. That's why, you know, it's just, oh, Brother Brian, just move on to something else. Hey, man, if we don't do anything about this little, this, this devil in our midst, if we don't get rid of this tear here, he is going to get us persecuted as Bible-believing Christians. He is bringing violence upon the body of Christ. He is not a Christian. Don't put it in the comments, he's your brother in Christ. He's not my brother in Christ. He never has been my brother in Christ. I wish he would become one of my brethren in Christ. I really do. I really would be, I'd rejoice if he got saved. But you see, he's not about to. I don't believe for one second. He has been admonished and admonished and admonished and corrected by so many brethren, not just me. So many brethren have tried to correct this little liar and he will not be corrected. He's the most prideful, arrogant little imp that I've ever seen. And again, another secular article proving what I'm saying, trying to say he's the King James only movement's most prolific, most divisive voice. It's funny that the magazine would say that because uh, Sodomite Palmer said, division is diabolical. And yeah, yet, Tony Palmer. Andrew Snake is calling is causing division, yet I guess he's you know not diabolical according to the Vatican. Well, they would because say he's, he's diabolical their, he's because he's boy. yeah. So uh, we need to we need to spread the truth out there that this guy is a liar. Okay, very very dangerous.